Hello, it's your Red Rector, as I said, I'll be bringing another instalment to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is going to be on insects and what insects we should feed our reptiles. Now, first of all, just a little disclaimer, this is all personal opinion, this is what I've learnt over the years of owning and caring for my reptiles. You might completely have a different view or whatnot. So, insects, right. There's, there's many insects you can feed your reptiles. There's uh, hundreds of different insects. But in my opinion, there's one main one I feed mine for good reasons, and there's one main one I don't feed for reasons I've learnt. Right, the start the lesson. Well, I don't feed my insects. Sorry, I don't feed them crickets. You might be sitting there watching, why not crickets? I bought crickets already from, you know. Don't feed them crickets because they're a pain. Um, by a pain, I mean, as soon as you open that viv, I open the viv, or if you open up the, the container for your food, the insects, open that up and they'll jump everywhere. I know they might do their own crickets, they jump. But it's a pain in the butt, especially if you're new and you're not used to handling insects, trying to feed them or whatnot. You open it up and they jump in your house, jump in your living room, bedroom, kitchen, I don't know where you've got your reptile, and they'll jump everywhere and you'll lose them. They're fast flighting, they'll squeeze under something. And that's a pain then because you have to either take everything out. I've done it. I have. I've had to do it. I've had to take my whole stack of herbs out just to get behind it to get, to get access to these crickets because they do live long and they can't just eat the dust in the room. They eat the skin, the dead skin and whatnot. So I sink in, but they eat anything. Me and that means they will live longer and they could breed. And that's all you want then is a bunch of crickets, an anky panky and your wardrobes, and then there's hundreds of them. And that's when it gets to. You know, getting exterminators in and whatnot. And that's you're not even getting into the viv yet. Once you put them in the viv, if you have logs, so that, say you've got a bearded dragon, you've got stuff them to climb on because they like climbing, they can get under cracks or get cr up in the cracks of the logs. And from then on, it's a pain for the bearded dragon to get them. They, they physically can't get into these cracks or under that. So they're not already thin. And you're thinking, oh, I put seven crickets in this morning. They'd be fine, man. Yeah, he, he's got grub. Poor thing can't get at them because they're all under dish bowls and water bowls and food bowls or whatever you feed them with. Or even what stuff he climbs on. They can't get at them. So that's why we don't feed I don't feed them crickets. Now, get on to what I do feed. I feed my animals and I've got I've got about four or five insect eaters. I feed them hoppers, large, extra large grasshoppers. Now most of the stuff I said for the crickets could affect this as well, could, could retain them if they do jump and whatnot. But there's one thing I do like about these, they're not as fast as crickets. Okay, so if they jump out, you can easily just, don't panic, pick them up, grab them, chuck them in the viv. And that's done then. Now, once they're in the viv, I'm not going to say they're going to be not going to be climbing on the walls, because they will. They're not going to be able to get in the small cracks in the, in the rocks or in the wood or in the dish bowls, they just can't. So, the only way you got to think about it then is if they're climbing up the walls and your, um, your animal can't reach them. Now, there's, like I say, a couple of pros to, to these is you can get them in different sizes, just like crickets. And it all varies how big your animal is out in the distance between his eyes. But I personally think these are the best to feed them because they're not so skittish. They don't jump everywhere and fly about like Spider-Man. Now, there's also a thing called... Um, you can buy calcium, calcium worms, and you can buy mealworms. Now, mealworms we're talking about. Mealworms are a treat. Like you go to McDonald's, you have Mac D's, you don't have it every day, do you? Because you get fat and you get unhealthy. You have them a treat once a month, once a once a week, maybe if you're pushing it, once a fortnight, whatever. But it's only a treat. Now, calcium, calcium, uh, mealworms are full of rubbish. They're fatty, they're hanging, and feed them to them, your animals can get like sort of addicted. They, they don't want anything else, they just want mealworms. That's happened to me, my bearded dragon, when I first bought him, he wasn't eating. And that's due, due to the fact he's getting used to his surroundings, getting used to you, his environment, everything. So I started to get worried then, when I, was, I had my bearded dragon when I first started collecting. He's like, right, I gotta get him something to eat. He's gotta eat something. So I got mealworms, I fed him mealworms, and he started to eat them then, and then, but, he was enjoying it and all that sort of thing. But the problem was then, he wouldn't eat anything else. He wouldn't eat crickets, which I bloody ate now, like, but he wouldn't back in as I was feeding him. He wouldn't eat crickets, he wouldn't eat hoppers. So what I had to do is I just completely wean him off it. Just 
I just want to feed him. I put hoppers in there, and he want to eat them. I want to give him a meal worms. Then lucky enough, when he gets starved, and he'd eat them, and then that's how we did it. And just built up from um, carried on eating them. Now that's my meal worms. Don't get me wrong. Christmas time now coming up. I will be feeding them meal worms once in a while for a treat. Nothing more. There's also a thing called calci worms. Now calci worms are similar to meal worms. Calci worms are sort of meal worms that get fed calcium powder. Now calcium powder, if you don't know, is very important with the nutrition with the reptiles. Everything you feed them caught with calcium powder, especially insects, get your insect, dip them in, <laughs> chuck it in the thing and watch them eat it. Reason for, calcium helps the bones grow. Their bones grow, it helps a lot of other things in the body and it helps them just develop fine, not fine, <laughs> develop all right, they don't have any growth problems or whatnot. Now, calcium worms, I'm not, I've got calcium in the belly. Whoops, calcium worms got calcium in their belly. Now, calcium, so they got them in their belly, so if they're fed. It doesn't mean do not dip them in calcium because you still should. What else can I say about calcium worms? I've covered calcium worms. Calcium powder, I use this. Nutribol, whatever it is, Nutribol. I think it's calcium powder, it's calcium powder, no matter where, you, in my opinion, no matter where you get it, as long as it's certified for animals and whatnot, it doesn't matter what brand you get. All I can say is this Nutribol. Oh, that bloody stinks, man. Duff. Another week's time for using this. Anyway, so that's about it, really. I'm sorry for this has been a bit me messed up. My, my other phone just dropped, which had the light on me because my room's dark as hell. I'm very sorry. This is like the hundredth time I've tried videotaping this. Um, if, you, if you're interested, I could do other videos such as these sort of pots you can usually let uh, get goes, uh, crested get goes. You also got um, what else have I got you? Crested uh, diet. I could do a different video on all those pellets, tortoises, green shrubs, and greenery for tortoises. And a lot more videos if you're interested. Just leave a comment down below. So I think I'm done now. So I'd like to thank you for watching. It's, it means a lot, you know, just new channel, one view, happy days. Um, if you enjoyed, please like, don't like, click that like button. Um, comments, criticism, constructive criticism is welcome. Please comment down below. And if you're interested in more, please click that subscribe button. It won't bite you. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a lovely evening and uh, Christmas is coming. All be good. Be nice. Ho, ho, ho. Ta-da.